uh, what led to me having an opportunity to do broadcasting was the success that Auburn had in 2010. Uh, so Auburn is getting ready to go play for the national championship game against Oregon. We had just had an all-time great Iron Bowl game against them, in which we came up just a little bit short. Uh, we had a big lead and and blew it in the second half, and Auburn came back to win, uh, and they went on to beat South Carolina for the SEC championship, and then ultimately, obviously, you know, punched their ticket to Arizona where they play Oregon. And... I was training in, well, I was actually at the academic Heisman uh, in New York, um, the the Campbell Award sitting around at the NFF banquet, the National Football Foundation banquet, and we're sitting around and I'm, I lose the award and I'm ticked off about it and we're going to a happy hour event soon after the, the gala and I'm like, so mad I'm sitting there at the bar, I grab a beer, I'm 21 years old at this point, so those that are like Oh my gosh, a college guy drinking. Like I was of age uh, and I'm Irish. So like I wanted a beer. I was mad. Um, So I went and got, uh, I I don't remember what it was, probably a Miller Lite or a Coors Light if I were to ask my 21-year-old self. And those that were also at the bar were Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreet. Uh, Lee Fitting and Michael Fountain were also there. Uh, Lee Fitting was at the time the producer of Game Day. Uh, Michael Fountain uh, was in some way connected to game day, but I think he was more sports center or I wasn't sure exactly what his title was, but I of course knew Kirk and I of course knew Fowler from them having covered our team for the last several years. And after a couple beers, you know, we're sitting there and saying, Hey man, you just played a great game against Auburn. Like how about you come to Phoenix and talk about it? Like firsthand perspective of, of what it was like playing against Auburn. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Let's go. Fine. And Fitting's like, would you really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, I'll be training in California. I can pop over for a day trip and pop right back. It's no problem. Like, I'm, I want to go to Arizona in January anyways. Let's go. Um, so long story short, um, was out there training after we played Michigan State in the Capital One Bowl in my final bowl game on January 1st. Went to California on January 2nd to train. Uh, flew over to, to Scottsdale or Phoenix for the day did a little hit for him three or four days later. Uh, and it went really well. Um, they were like, you were very prepared. You really enjoyed your, your takes really enjoyed everything that you said about Auburn. And and we think our, our viewers gained something from this. Would this be something that you'd consider, you know, coming and doing right now? I said, no, I, I really need to scratch the NFL itch. Uh, I'd always wonder what if, if I didn't at least pursue it. Uh, so after a couple of years and them kind of asking me every year, like, Hey, would this be something you'd consider this year? Like you're on IR, your rookie year, you dislocated your thumb. Like you want to come do it now? I'm like, no, the next year you just got sacked 11 times and you're, you know, in your first NFL start, like, do you want to do it now? I was like, no. Uh, and then after year three, they're like, all right, well, you know, we're about to launch SEC network. Do you want to be a part of that? I'm like, yeah, like I, I had just torn my PCL. I was under contract at Cincinnati, but you know, I knew that I could grind out maybe two or three more years, but I'd be better off probably going and pursuing something that hopefully I can do for 